This is Andy Purwell for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm glad to my former WBO World Cruiserweight Champion Johnny Nelson here for Joshua Usyk weighing. Johnny, we finally got the weights. What did you make of them? Uh, as predicted, you've got two professionals that want to win and they've, they've worked on a meticulous game plan to do that. One's coming the weight he should come in at and so has Anthony Joshua as well. So you're going to get fights, but the weight is not going to be an issue here because they've done exactly the right thing. Usyk will normally walk about at that weight. That's what he'll normally train at that weight. He just doesn't have to starve himself to get down to 14-4 anymore. Anthony Joshua has trimmed himself to be athletic, align his feet, have speed and power. And that these weights are perfect for both camps. I can't see anybody not being happy about it. AJ came in only a few pounds heavier than what he did for the Ruiz 2 rematch. Is that a kind of a sign as to what to expect from him in that I, fight? I actually thought I misheard him and they said 230 for AJ, but he said 240 and I'm like, 230? Shit! That's low, man. He's doing well there, but but it means this guy's put his heart and soul into it. I know he's been in Sheffield training 24-7, you know, for the past three months. Not going home. He's made his lifestyle for the past three months. So, so again, it's all this is nothing. You, what we been, need to look on is the fight and whose tactics are the right tactics and who can stick to their game plan and make the most out of their game plan. All this is done. This is this is this is not to these guys, and that's why AJ keeps saying, "Look, it's just a no fight." because you've got to simplify and justify your calm. As we've edged ever, ever closer towards fight night, people have made the fight a lot closer than when it was originally announced. Now we're only a day away. Johnny, is your opinion changed on how the fight will play out? Uh, it's going to be a close fight. And the reason why people's opinions have changed, it's going to be a lot closer because now they've done the research on Alexander Usyk. And now they're thinking, ah, I see it now. And now because people like you and I are saying to people, look, when Anthony Joshua, if an Anthony Joshua pulls off the win, he has to have credit where credit deserves. You've got to give him credit for this because, because it's, a, it's a great win. To me, it's the best win. And it's a live win. And so, again, it's just... Um, it, 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 I'm looking forward to that. Would it be AJ's best win on his resume? Without a doubt. Without a doubt. And I know we'll put some people say Klitschko, X, Y, Z. We're talking about two guys in their prime. Uh, two guys that think they are the best in the world. Usyk thinks he's the best in the world, even though it's unofficial. Two guys that are physically, uh, mentally, emotionally, uh, age-wise, at the right point in their life. So there's no saying he's short or he's, or he's old or whatever. This is the time. Um, but, but we've also got to remember, Anthony Joshua started boxing at the age of 18. 13 years he's been doing it. Usyk's been doing it since he was a boy. So, so again, the achievements that Joshua pulls out from this, have, credit has to, have to go to him if he pulls off the win. Uh, Johnny, we'll leave it there now. Leave it to shoot off. Thank you for your time. Thanks for speaking to me. Nice one. <laughs>